coconut products are all the rage right now, especially coconut oil. But can it really be used to prevent and treat certain forms of dementia, like Alzheimer's disease? Let's take a look at what the research actually tells us. Many experts claim coconut oil can treat forms of dementia, particularly Alzheimer's disease. But is it true? Let's look at the research. So just to recap, Alzheimer's disease is characterized by a decreased ability by the brain to use glucose for fuel. That's why it stops functioning properly. On the right, you can see a PET scan of two different, two different images. On the left is a healthy brain. On the right is a brain with Alzheimer's disease. The red color indicates the glucose metabolism occurring in the brain. So you can see it's very strong in the healthy brain. On the right, the red color is all but gone. Now it's this slowing in brain metabolism that leads to cognitive decline, such as memory loss. Fortunately, humans are able to use ketones as an alternative for glucose in order to fuel the brain. So the body creates ketones when it turns stored fat into energy. Converting the stored fat into ketones is the reason that humans can survive days, even weeks, without food. It's a trait that likely evolved to keep our ancestors going when glucose or carbohydrate wasn't easy to come by, for example, in, in periods of famine or migration. For those with Alzheimer's, it appears this backup ketone system kicks into gear to replace the, the regular glucose system. Researchers are wondering if we add more ketones into blood, into circulation, then this might help fuel the brain cells deprived of glucose. Now, in order to increase ketones in the blood, uh, it helps to consume a type of fat known as a medium chain triglyceride or MCT. Coconut oil is 65% MCT, which is the highest percentage of any food on the planet. So it makes sense that perhaps if we consume more coconut oil, we will get more MCT in the blood, which will turn into ketones, which will then be used as a fuel source for the brain. In a study on those with milder forms of Alzheimer's, uh, MCT supplementation increased blood ketones, and that led to an immediate improvement in brain function. Another study looking at 152 subjects with Alzheimer's disease found that supplementing direct ketones rather than MCT oil effectively improved cognitive function over a three-month period. So both studies show promise, but they're just too small and too short to draw any strong clinical recommendations from. We just need a bit more evidence, specifically looking at coconut oil directly rather than MCT supplementation or ketone supplementation. Fortunately, there is more research on the way, and, and this study will use coconut oil directly. This study uh, is proposed to be eight months long, and they're going to use coconut oil for the treatment group. And so that's in the recruitment stage, as far as I know. Given that coconut oil is by far the richest source of MCT in our diet, it's reasonable to believe consumption could be beneficial for Alzheimer's disease. Just keep in mind that we're, we're making presumptions because the science just doesn't exist yet. For additional information and the full list of scientific references, please see the original article at dietversdisease.org. So there you have it. In theory, coconut oil should help. And it's just a matter of time, hopefully, until we have the proof. Now, from a personal point of view, I think coconut oil is quite neutral, if not, if not good for you. So all things being equal, and after having consulted with a healthcare professional, I would definitely give it a shot. I'm Joe Leach. Thanks for watching.